What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have got an absolute banger for you guys. I said this in the last video and I am so stoked about this bo this box. For those of you who don't know, this is the Evite Box of Awesomeness. This box retails for $199 and there's a whole list of things you can get but you don't know what you're actually getting. So this box got here yesterday at like 6 or 7 o'clock but I was too tired to film it so now I'm filming it this morning so this box weighs 10 pounds and it traveled from it came from California all the way into New Jersey now this box got here in about two weeks which isn't bad but I was very tempted to open it last night without you guys but I just have to I couldn't do that because that wouldn't be fair so I know I've seen a lot of other people do this, but I'll tell you once we get into it. Let's get it. So, like I was saying, a lot of people, like a lot of YouTubers that I've watched, Try to kind of try to one up each other on what weapon or blade to use to open their box. So I'm gonna try to one up everybody, and I'm gonna go with the classic old machete. Now, this isn't a very expensive machete; it's just a cheap little one, and it has wood stuff on it too. Now, I haven't really sharpened the blade at all, but I'm gonna see if I can just. Wow, that cut really nicely, actually. So I'm just going to try to rip it open and try not to look inside right away. So I'm going to close my eyes. So right away, packing slip, we're not going to look at that. Okay, looks like we got some sort of pistol. So you guys are going to be able to see it first. I don't know what it is yet. Okay, I'm going to look in three, two, one. Oh, okay. So I kind of have an idea of what this box is going to be. So let me get this open. A ton of instruction manuals and just warning cards. Let's rip this thing open. Okay, that should be enough to get the box open. Okay, so right off the bat what you're going to see is, looks like little O-rings. I can't tell what that piece is. That's part of a green gas bottom for the mag, and then a little cable thing to tune to um, zero in the gun. But now the gun itself. Okay, it's got some weight. Okay, so this is the HK USP Compact Tactical. So I think what I heard this round holds like 21 or 22 rounds. This is a green gas blowback pistol. Now, I don't have green gas on me, so I would show you how it shoots, but I don't have green gas on me, so I normally am just using my CO2 Beretta pistol. So, let's talk about this pistol a little bit. So, this one is a compact pistol, so it's a lot smaller and it's easier to, like, grip in the hand. Looks like it's got a threaded outer barrel, so if you want to put a tracer, suppressor on there. Looks like... The mag falls out and goes in really smoothly, I think. Oh, maybe not when it's... Oh yeah, the mag doesn't really come out very well when it's when it slides back. But this is not... This is just semi and safe, so you got a selector switch right there. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I think I know what this box is now, but you guys don't, so it's still a surprise for you. Okay, I'm going to go for... Item number two. Okay, looks like we have some sort of mesh bag. It's really hard to get out. Okay, so now I'll look in a couple seconds, but you guys can see what these are. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, okay, so we have the tactical airsoft knee pad and elbow pad kit. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to use these just because um, I'd rather 
knee pads that fit into my pants, which I'll probably get sometime later. But that's cool. If I'd ever play, like, a game where it's kind of a rocky surface. And then these are the same, just knee pads. Not much to say about those. Okay, so, next up. This box is supposed to come with a patch, so I'm... Okay, I think I felt the patch. Okay. Okay, so it's a Shoot Better Hex Patch in red. Now this one just says, evike.com shoot better. Cool little hex patch. Okay, I'll figure out where to put that in a second, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I found a place for the patch so I can kind of show you guys up closer. Now, this is my tactical helmet. Now, I am i don't have that many patches. I have two AT Airsoft patches from like, like red dot protectors. Um, a patch that says my last name, and then the new Evic patch, or Evic, however you want to pronounce it. So that's the patch right there. If you guys can see it pretty well, it's the red one. Okay, now, and yes, my last name is Burger, so I make fun of that. Okay, last but not least, we definitely have a rifle in here. Now let me get this. This is a risky move. Oh, man. I cannot do this with this knife. I'm just going to have to rip it. Okay. okay, so you guys are going to be able to see what this is. I'm going to throw this box to the side. Hopefully that's out of view. Okay, so I kind of saw what it is, but I can't really... I think I already know it, so like... That's the box. So it's a King Arms... Let's see. King Arms, I've never had one of these. I thought about getting one at one time, but it's an M4 Striker CQB. So let's hope I don't open this upside down. Okay, phew, I didn't. Okay, so. There's a couple different parts in this gun, so I will get back to you right when I put it together. Okay, I lied. I didn't think there was actually like um i thought it looked like there was a ton of parts but it's just this box is super black so like okay so i'm gonna try to do this the best way it works uh, sorry if you guys can't see this very well okay so the mag looks like oh it's a mid cap so it's not a high cap for those of you who don't know mid caps hold like mid caps you don't have a little tab that you open on the top and put the bbs in and then they shake around. These are mid caps, which hold like normally like 120 to 140 rounds. So you just load them in with a speed loader. So really nice, pretty high quality polymer mag. That there. Then also comes with a little foregrip. That's also really nice. It's not a bad foregrip at all. And then what you all been waiting for, the gun itself. Okay. This is the gun. So this is one of the more modern guns. It's got a flat trigger here, so like, it's better. I've always liked flat triggers. It's better on the hand, I mean the finger. It's got pretty nice flip up sights. I'll probably leave those on there, but I think I have an extra red dot that I could put on this gun anyway. Okay, so then the hop up, pull that back, and you fix the hop up right there. Now it's got safe, semi, and automatic. So I'm pretty sure yeah, the shot, the, um, the battery goes in the back, so I think you just gotta, oh man, I'm struggling with this. Okay, so you just pull that back stock off, it's very really unique, it's very unique stock. Um, it's polymer too, there's, a, there's some metal in this thing, there's... There's not much of a metal, but it's a really high quality polymer, so if you drop this, you don't have to risk it. Well, you don't have much of a risk of it breaking. So just take that stock off. And then you have a little tab here, and then you have the battery plug in here. So you probably put like a 9.6 or like a LiPo battery in there. But then if you want to, you just put the battery in there, you close it back up. Put this. This is, what I'm, this is what I'm going to struggle with, putting this stock back on. Ugh. Okay, there we go, I got it. And then you just put it closed. 
I normally like it the stock fully condensed. I can just like grip it better. But I'll get back to you guys in one second when I put a red dot, the grip on, and show you what it looks like with the magnet. Okay guys, so I got all the attachments that I was trying to add on there. So starting off with this is a red dot, green dot, just a little red dot sight, and then if you're wondering what this is, this is a red dot sight protector, so I can flip up and down, but when I'm playing I put it up, just in case a BB comes, I don't want it to shatter the red dot, because red dots aren't very cheap and you don't want them to break on you. And then here I have a one point sling adapter that comes onto my um, plate carrier, and then this grip, this foregrip, came with the gun, it's, it's a really nice foregrip. I never really use foregrips, like... I don't really hold them, I just kind of use it as a hand stop when I'm holding my gun like this. Now these are key mod rails, so you can just move them different places instead of having like an AR where it's just tactical rails versus tactical rails versus tactical rails. So you can just buy like add-ons. And then the mag, I, it is a mid-cap. I have new, other mags, but I don't know if I'm going to use this one. I probably will though. But yeah, all around, it's a really great gun. I don't know what I have to do for adjusting the hop up. It might hop up or hop down right now, so I'll do that later. But yeah, all around, I think I pretty much scored on, the, on what I got. I'm just going to put this down for you. I got the rifle. I got the HK USP Compact. I got the patch. And then I got the knee pads and elbow pads. So with all the research that I've been doing like on the box of awesomeness, this gun, this handgun was $150. Um, the knee pads and elbow pads were $50 in total. The patch was $10. So right there that's $210. So that already pays off the box and I already got $10 extra. And then the rifle was $200, so basically I got $210 worth of stuff for free. Oh, what? Well, altogether my f grand total was $410, but if I just if I ended up just like singularly buying these two things, it'd be $200. So technically I got the gun and the patch for free, which is an all-around just absolute score. Um. Like I said, this is an electric AG, and then this is green gas. But yeah, all around, two pretty great guns. I mean, I'm happy with what I got. There was this one, like, alien pulse rifle, which was really kind of just ugly, which I was really hoping I didn't get. And actually, my friend got the same exact box as me. Um, and then my other friend got a similar box, but with this same gun with, like, a longer barrel. And then he got a high cap of pistol. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I thank you guys that for sticking around during this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.